panel. So in today's class, let us uh, look at one more proposition on the outer measure. So proposition is as follows. So given any set A and any epsilon greater than zero, there is an open set. O such that A is contained in O and N star O is less than or equal to N star A plus epsilon. There is a G delta set such that A is contained in G and M star A is equal to M star G. So we need to show two things. So given any set A and any epsilon greater than 0, uh, there is an open set O such that uh, A is contained in O, then if A is contained in O, then M star of O will be less than or equal to M star of A plus epsilon. And then uh, the second part is we need to show that there is a G delta set such that A is contained in G and M star of A is equal to M star G. Now uh, by a G delta set uh, we mean so G delta set uh, is a countable intersection of open uh, sets. So G delta set is a countable intersection of open sets. So we will first uh, see the proof of uh, the uh, fact that m star of O is less than or equal to m star of A plus epsilon. So let's see the proof. proof of the first part is as follows. So let uh, sequence i n uh, be a collection of open intervals so let sequence i n be a collection of open intervals such that uh, so we need contained in union i n so if a is contained in union i n then for epsilon greater than 0 summation length of i n will be less than n star a plus epsilon. So call it as equation 1. And now uh, let us define uh, O to be union i n. So now we first part of the end of the uh, open set O a such that uh, a is contained in uh, in, uh, we have defined O to be union of uh, open intervals. So for union of open intervals will be again open. So define, we have defined O equal to union I n. Uh, then uh, O is an open set uh, and also since uh, A is contained in union O n is equal to O. So that implies A is contained in O. So now we have the end of the condition O is open set and uh, A is contained in O. Okay. Um, so A is contained in O and now we need to show that M star of O is less than or equal to M star of A plus epsilon. Now M star of O will be equal to M star of uh, union I N. Uh, now, this will be less than or equal to me. Uh, m star in the subadity property which it is. This will be less than or equal to summation uh, m star i n. In the number i n is the open intervals. Uh, so, therefore, the outer measure will be length of the interval. So, this will be equal to summation uh, length of i n. So, this is by 
sub additivity so countable sub additivity so now nammala e identity use so summation of length of in will be less than n star a plus epsilon so this will be less than n star a plus epsilon so therefore we can conclude that n star of o is less than or equal to n star of a plus epsilon so uh, the first part is uh, 2 so therefore first part is 2 so let us now look at the proof of the second Now, from the first part, we have got n star of O uh, is less than or equal to n star plus uh, n star A plus epsilon. Uh, now, uh, we will apply uh, that result here. So, applying the first part uh, for, so let us take epsilon equal to uh, 1 by n. So, we have so for epsilon equal to 1 by n uh, let us consider uh, the open set o n for epsilon corresponding at the open set o n consider here so we will get m star of o n less than or equal to m star of a plus 1 by n so we have uh, an open set o n such that so we contained in so n n star of o n will be less than or equal to n star a plus 1 by n. In number uh, gn and the gn uh, is an intersection of open sets. Uh, so we need to uh, take a g delta set such that the a must be contained in g. And G no G delta set to array. The G no array in the section of uh, open sets are and A must be uh, contained in G. In the number of the editor in the OEM, A contains A no uh, open set. Aana. So we will uh, define A to be, so sorry, we will define G to be uh, intersection of uh, two sets O. So define G is equal to. Uh, intersection 1 to infinity O n. Now each uh, A, uh, so for each uh, O n, A is contained in O n. So therefore uh, A will be uh, contained in intersection of O n also. Uh, so then uh, G uh, is a G delta set since uh, it is a collection of, uh, so it is uh, an intersection of open sets, countable open sets. So, we will let the particular G, G delta set down. Also, A is contained in O n for all n. So, that implies A is contained in intersection 1 to infinity O n which we have taken to be G. So, therefore, A is contained in G. Now, it remains to prove that. So, we need to show that if this is the case, then M star of A is equal to M star of G. So, it remains to prove that M star of A is equal to M star G. Now, for uh, G equal to in the section 1 to infinity O n, now uh, G is contained in each uh, O n for all n. So, therefore, uh, by the property of outer measure, so M star of G will be less than or equal to M star of O n. In the number of them, it to them, where the inequality which M star of O n will be less than or equal to M star of A plus 1 by so, this will be less than or equal to m star a plus 1 by n. Now, taking the limit as uh, n tends to infinity, taking limit 
as n tends to infinity and that's what we will get m star g less than or equal to m star a and now limit of 1 by n will be 0 so that implies m star g less than or equal to m star a. So we will get m star g less than or equal to m star a and now since uh, a is contained in g uh, we have so if a is a subset of g then m star of a will be less than or equal to m star of g so combining both we will be getting that is that is so combining both we get m star a equal to m star g so this is the proof of 